Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. All right, let's craft together. Hey guys, I wanted to come out and I wanted to show you how to do something in Microsoft PowerPoint. This is one of the things that I get asked a lot about in Microsoft PowerPoint or can you do it in Microsoft PowerPoint so I want to show you how to do it <clears throat> so um, what we're going to be doing is working with text but we're going to work with text other than by going to the menu and inserting a text box instead we're going to insert and then we're going to come over to word art and you can select any of these that you so choose so we're going to play around with one so here we have insert your text and all you're going to do is just click on it and type in whatever you want to type in. So we're just going to say Merry Christmas. Okay. And I'm going to move that down so you can see it better. So here we have Merry Christmas <clears throat> and you can size this up however you so choose. You're just going to highlight the letters, go back to your menu and select home. And then you're going to come over, run under transitions and animations, and you're going to, you know, make it whatever size you want to make it. <clears throat> and you can make it whatever font you want to make it. So let's see what would look pretty. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Let's go. <clears throat> All right. All right. Let's play with. I want one really cursive, but still where you know how sometimes you have to be careful with the different. Um, cursive print because you want it to be still legible where you can read it and I kind of like that but let's go okay I'm not gonna make this difficult I'm gonna go with that blackjack all right <clears throat> so I have my font here once you get your font and everything set up you want to highlight the text and you're going to come up to um, your shape format and you are going to select that and when you click shape format you're going to come down to text effects text effects and you're going to select transform and that's where you're going to have all the curve you know you can lay your cursor on it and you can see all the different things that Microsoft PowerPoint can do with your text. So I haven't even selected anything. I'm just looking to see what it is I want to play around with. And then I will select that. Okay. So that is how you get your curved words inside Microsoft PowerPoint. All right. Let me see which one I want. And I know it's not going to be any of those down there. Let's go back up here. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. It does. It's doing something to me. Um, so you have your follow path. And I'll bring that up so you guys can see it better here in just a second. But I think I'm going to go with this um, stop. I think that's what I selected. Huh, I kind of like that one too, the triangle up. I kind of like that. All right, so I'm going to leave mine like that. But that is how you get curved words in Microsoft PowerPoint. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to get a solid color slide here, something that you guys will be able to see on. I'm going to go to the menu and select insert word art. And I'm just going to select now this, it has a shadow. So um, if you select that, just know that you're going to have a shadow on your, your wording here. Um, I was about to type <laughs> shadow. <laughs> oh my God, it's something wrong with me. I can't feel. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so we have Merry Christmas. And again, I'm going to go back to the menu and select home. I'm just going to select the first font here. I'm going to stick with the black jack and I'm going to make that a little bit larger. So you can kind of see behind the letters, there's a shadow. Okay. It's not a bad thing. It's just if that's the look you're going for. Okay. So you want to highlight your letters. You're going to click on shape format in the menu. And then you're going to come down to text effects, transform. So now I'm just going to lay my cursor. That's the arc. That's the arch down. This is the circle. This is a, a button. So you can kind of play around with these guys to see what you really, I really like that triangle, triangle up. That is so pretty to me. Um, but yeah, that is how you get the curved letters. So you don't have to just go in Cricut Design Space to get curved letters. You can get curved letters right here in Microsoft PowerPoint. Oh, that one is pretty too. I like the double wave down up and the double wave up down. Um, I'm getting ready to start doing Christmas greeting cards. Oh, that one is pretty. Inflate. That one is pretty. Um, and so I will be probably using some of these here shortly. And I will come on and do a little card with you guys with the curvatures. I'm going to go back to this inflate. Oh, I like that. All right. So the good thing is once you get something in Microsoft PowerPoint, you don't have to go and start all over again. I'm going to show you. So let's say I have Merry Christmas here and I'm going to need Merry Christmas a couple of times, but I want to try different colors. All you have to do is just click on whatever it is you want. So I want to make sure it's highlighted. It's selected. You come to the menu and select Format Painter. Let me do this. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it a different way. I'm gonna insert some text here. I'm just gonna say um, Happy New Year's. And I'm gonna show y'all how this will look here. I'm just going to put it on anything. I just want you guys to be able to see it. All right. I don't like that font. You need to be able to see the font so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. All right. So let's say that I have this Happy New Year's and then I have the Merry Christmas. And I'm like, you know what? I like the style of the Merry Christmas better than I do the Happy New Year. So I want to incorporate the style from Merry Christmas over to Happy New Year. So what you're going to do is you're going to select Merry Christmas. You're going to click on Format Painter. And then you're going to come down and select Happy New Year. See that? I didn't have to go back through Word Art and Transform and all that good stuff. All I have to do is Format Painter, a previous or what I want to copy from, and then click on what I want to copy to. So I'm going to do it one more time. But this time, I'm going to change the color of Happy New Year. And I'm going to do this green color. Okay. So let's just say, uh, you know what? Um, I'm going to insert some text here. Doo -doo -doo. And this one is going to be um, Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday, little kid. 
I'm still silly for some reason, guys. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't either. Okay. So I'm going to put it on 32. All right. So I like the Merry Christmas and I like the Happy New Year's. So I want to take the look of Happy New Year's and incorporate it for the Happy Birthday. So I have Happy New Year selected. That's that's the look I want to copy from, okay? Once I highlight it, I'm going to select Format Painter. And then the look I want to copy to is the Happy Birthday. You see it has a little arrow and it has the painter. You want to make sure you see that before you click. And there you go. Okay? Now, it's not going to give you the same font size, but everything else will be the same. All right? And then you can just change it up, whatever color you want it to make it or whatever, but it'll have the same style that you formatted, did the format painter from, okay? So I hope that answers your question, guys. You do not, I repeat myself, you do not have to go to Cricut Design Space to do curve curvature letters. You can do that right here inside Microsoft PowerPoint. And I know I've shown you guys a lot in Microsoft PowerPoint, and then I kind of fell off. My apologies. Um, I kind of fell off and started doing other projects because I don't want to just harp on one type of craft because it's so much out there to do. <laughs> All right. So that is how you can do curved letters in Microsoft PowerPoint. And I will jump on periodically and do short tutorials like this just to kind of help you out because sometimes it's better to see it and visualize it than to try to explain it to you over a text message or email. Okay. All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And if you're currently in my Facebook group, Candoris is Cricut and Creative Crafters. Thank you guys so much for the support via Facebook. If you would like to join my group, it is linked in the description. Okay. So all you have to do is look in the description and you will see the um, Candoris is Cricut and Creative Crafts my Facebook group. If you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via um, my YouTube. If you like my method of teaching and you would like to join my YouTube channel or subscribe to my YouTube channel, please feel free to do so. And please feel free to tell others and please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate that. Okay. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So as always, you know, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one and you guys have an amazing day. Bye.